Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Model School Academy. This is fifth grade mathematics, week number seven and day number five. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about percentage problems. So all through this week, we've been doing a review of percentages, which we learned before. We're trying to take it a little bit deeper for ourselves, okay? So today we're gonna to be applying percentage concepts to solve real life situations. So let's look at this example. So if the price of an HHA workbook is increased from $60 to $80 per bundle, what is the percentage increase? All right, so this one is a very tricky question. You gotta slow down a little bit. So percentage increase, let's write down the formula here. Percentage increase will be equivalent to the increment, increment divided by the original price, and then multiplied by 100, all right? So they told us that the original price, which I'm gonna call OP, is equivalent to $60, okay? The new price, which I will call NP, is equivalent to $80. So what is the increment? Well, the increment INC will be equivalent to $80 minus $60, which is gonna be just $20, all right. So we're gonna plug all these figures into this formula. Increment is gonna be equivalent to $20, divided by the original price, OP, which is $60, and then multiplied by 100, okay? <clears throat> and when you do that, that's gonna be one third divided by 100, which is gonna be equivalent to 33.33%. Right. Now, they said if the HHA workbook bundle is increased by 50%, what's the new price? Well, you know what? He said it's increased by 50%. So we're going to say 50% or 0 0.5. Well, let's say 50% is equivalent to the increment. We don't know the increment just yet. And then original price is gonna be $60 still. So guess what? So the new increment is gonna be equivalent to 50% multiplied by $60, right? Which is gonna be equivalent to 50 <coughs> uh, divided by 100 multiplied by 60. Just gonna be half times 60 and that's going to be 30, all right? So the increment, the new increment is $30, all right? So what's the new price? Well, the new price will be equivalent to original price OP plus the increment, which is going to be 60 plus 30, which gives us $90, all right? So that's going to be our answer right over there. So if the workbook <clears throat> was increased by 50%, what is the new price? So you're gonna calculate the increment and then add that to the original price and you're gonna get your new price over there, just like that. All right, did you get something from it? I sure hope so. Well, let's go ahead and turn to page number 65. You are gonna see additional tips and concepts over there to help you to retain this content a little bit better. I want to thank you boys and girls for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. Your hero's body, and as you study with hero's born.